How do you prevent muscle soreness after a workout? In this video, I'm going to show you one simple technique that I've found that helps reduce or even eliminate muscle soreness. I'm Matt Shu from Upright Health, where we help you think right, move right, and feel right. This video is part two of a four-part series on helping you with your muscles. In this video, we're going to talk about reducing and eliminating muscle soreness. I'm going to share one technique and one experiment that you can run on yourself to see if you can get rid of your muscle soreness after your workouts. I'm doing a bunch of calf raises right now for the sake of science. What you can do to run the same experiment with yourself is to do calf raises as well. You can just stand off uh, a ledge, off some stairs, and just do some calf raises until you feel the muscles of your lower leg burning like mine are now. Once you know you've gotten your calf muscles really fatigued, you can run this experiment and use this technique that I've used on myself and with clients. Okay, so we've burned out the calf muscles. We've made them work and it's highly likely that in the next day or two, they're gonna get pretty sore. I wanna prevent that, you wanna prevent that. So what we're gonna do is take a ball and we're gonna put it on the floor and then we're gonna put the calf muscles on top of that ball. Then we can add a little bit of weight, a little bit of pressure, so that we can get a deeper massage into those muscles. And this is how you're going to prevent muscle soreness from getting out of control in your calf muscles. This will work for pretty much any muscle. So if you're doing bicep curls, you could massage your biceps after you've used them. If you're doing chest presses, you're doing push-ups, you're doing um, rows, pull-ups, whatever it is, you can work on those specific muscles to help them relax after you've worked them out. Here, I'm just rolling around on my calves, finding all the areas that are a little bit tender, maybe even the areas that aren't tender, and I just want to get those muscles to relax a little bit. I'm just kind of pushing around, finding the tough spots, and just gonna, I'm just gonna take my time. I'm not gonna make you watch me do this whole thing, but we're gonna do probably about two minutes, maybe even up to five minutes if I feel like I really need to. Okay, so here's the experiment that you can run, and I've run this myself. Some of you may not believe that massaging muscles will help prevent muscle soreness. I actually didn't believe it myself either. So the experiment that I ran and that I encourage you to run for yourself is to work out muscle groups symmetrically, meaning left and right side, and then choose one side that you are going to massage. So in this case with the calves, I've done my left leg, and then I'm not gonna do my right leg. Then you can see how you feel in one or two days. If you manage to exercise the muscles hard enough that one side gets sore, and the other side, the side that you massage didn't, then you know that doing the massage actually helped prevent the muscle soreness. Now, I know that every human body is different, so for some of you this may not work, and so at least now you have that information, but for many of you out there, this can be really helpful as a preventive maintenance tool to make sure that you aren't crippled by your workouts. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you find this tip helpful, please leave a comment down below. And if you have other advice to prevent muscle soreness, leave a comment down below so you help other people. If you like the video, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and check out the description box for helpful links to the rest of this series and to our other videos. And as always, I hope you remember that pain sucks. Life shouldn't. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Pick a spot. <laughs> okay. Damn it, super mic. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs>